brunch. A curious meal between two places in time, breakfast and lunch. How odd. You know what else is odd? Taking a recipe and changing it up without asking anybody. I'm Courtney, and I am here to solve mysteries. Mysteries of recipes that have been altered by the people of the public. I have my two friends, Trevor and Josh, from The Mythical Kitchen, who will be helping me solve these crimes today. This is Culinary Crimes. I love how many accessories you have. There's so many things to put on so many racks. I love it. Have you ever brunched? Occasionally. Quite often, in fact, yes. Have you ever crimed? I uh, prefer not to say here. Done a lot of crimes. Do them almost every day. Loitering. Stop. <laughs> Littering. Those crimes are not at this table. These crimes are the replacements of ingredients. And in this briefcase, okay. I have evidence of recipes being tampered with and defrauded. And defrauded. <laughs> and defrauded? God, no. Where'd you God, get the no. evidence? A producer. <laughs> there was a kid at my high school that dressed like this and, and we mostly avoided him. <laughs> oh, that's, now that's cute. Crime, crime, crime! <laughs> Why? Always have your wits about you. You seem distressed. Are you doing okay? Whose side are you on? I'm on the side of justice. Thank you. We have three cases today. We will read the recipe, the evidence that has re ingredients redacted. Those redacted ingredients are the ones that were changed. We will then experience the evidence, the recipe that was changed. We'll need to guess what was changed about the food, what ingredients were altered and how, and why, for the love of God, why? Then. We will be shown the verdict. And with that verdict, we will learn what was changed and then try the recipe for what it was truly meant to be. Like justice. Okay, case number one. Can you dispose of this? First recipe is French toast. By God! Oh, wow. No! Okay. A true gem of a brunch meal. Mm. The ingredients include ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, sugar, butter, eggs, milk, vanilla extract, challah, brioche, or white bread, and maple syrup. The suspect says on December 23rd at 8.30 in the morning. Two stars. Well, I'm sure this recipe would have been fantastic, but I think some people are overinflating their reviews. It was edible, sure, but I wouldn't waste my time making it again. I had no brioche, spelling, or the other bread. So I substituted blank, which did not soak up the egg mixture. As I am a vegan, I couldn't use the eggs they recommended, but the blank from a can of blank usually works just fine. Not here. It was so soggy and tasted like canned blank? <laughs> it's always worked in the past before. They were not quite as sweetly spiced as I hoped, but I think that was a bit of my own fault. Yeah, maybe. Accidentally added a shake or two of blank before realizing it wasn't nutmeg. Oops! <laughs> Overall, great recipe, but it just wasn't as good as I expected it to be. This suspect is on trial for three counts of culinary crimes. I don't mean to be on the side of the riffraff of the outlaws here, but I will say vegans, they have a tough life, right? They are driven to these food crimes, right? They don't want to be, want to be there. I have some initial thoughts, but I don't want to judge before we get to eating the actual case at hand here. Um, but I, I will say they're fighting a constant uphill battle. But that said, when they get to us, it's our job to put them behind bars. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you saying that. Shall we bring in the evidence? Whoa! Oh, that's what they used instead of broshi. Hold what? on a minute. Look Something at looks this. wrong what here. The? What? I okay. I mean, listen, listen. Not all cases are so 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 easy to solve, but it, it seems to me uh, pretty obvious what what the broshi substitute is, right? Broshi. That's how they spelled it. Brochi. Bro brochi. If it's Hebrew, that was my Hebrew mm -hmm. name actually. Mm -hmm. So this does not look like any type of bread I've ever seen. No. Ironically, they seem to have. 
gotten halfway to a crepe, right? This right. seems like they're trying to make a crepe recipe, which is a lovely brunch dish. French toast, toast, of course, toast. is historically uh, toast. Yes. Now hold on, yes. hold or, on, partners, okay? Because obviously yeah, the yeah. bread isn't bread, but uh, just, there's an etymological and semantic difference. All right, to, be hold it in your holster there, there fellow. Okay, sure will. <laughs> there's a there is an unwarranted spice in this here. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of that here. Because they weren't putting nutmeg in here. They were putting maybe another kind of nut in here. You can actually eat it. You don't have to lick it. I, this is my process, bite. detective. Okay. Okay, I brought You're you in on my this jurisdiction case for a now. reason. All right. I'm trying to figure out what could be confused with nutmeg. Um, I mean, do we say our first guess on what the brochee might Let be? Let us take Let's taste. a taste. Let's taste. Because it looks like a couple things. I just want to make sure we're right. Okay. I got a little blueberry in mine. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay. blueberries, Ready? eh? Three, two, one. It is great. <laughs> I see nothing wrong. Mm. I actually like am into this. Mm. Whoa, uh, hold on. I'm getting a little something bitter on the back end. Yeah, there is an interesting little twang. It's clearly the like, same. it's a tortilla, right? A flour this tortilla? A tortilla. Yeah, this is a flour tortilla. This is a flour tortilla. tortilla. Which... And flour tortillas are vegan? Um, mm. Most flour tortillas are not, but if they used a vegan flour tortilla, it probably had a vegetable shortening instead of lard in there. Um, if they had used egg, you would actually see a physical coating on flour tortilla. When I was a small child, a very stupid child, right? You ever like put something in your pocket and accidentally walk out of a store when you're a small child? Mm, yeah. You know, a, a crime of idiocy, if you will. Um, I tried two French toast tortillas when I was a kid and I noticed the same thing. It doesn't soak into it because of course, <clears throat> yeast in bread makes it rise, creates air pockets. Mm -hmm. and that's what gluten actually does, allow those air pockets. The egg mixture soaks into the air pockets. Tortillas have no air pockets. Yeah. Egg wouldn't soak in, but they didn't even use eggs. So you can't even see that sheen on the outside. They use something from a can of something. This is our forensics team. Get My name is Emily Deschanel. Sounds. I starred in Bones. <laughs> Anybody? Wait, where's the Bones heads at? Sound off in the comments. All right, Trevor, sounds like Trevor's cooking. What do you got to say? All right, so <clears throat> they had mm. used this substitute for egg mixture before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I'm like, I only am experiencing, I'm only experiencing tortilla kind of cinnamon mm. and syrup. That's how I feel I'm experiencing. Mm. Try and really get your nose in there to see, because uh, there is a common canned ingredient that is often substituted for eggs because specifically of its nutritional and uh, mm -hmm. macro breakdown and how it reacts, especially when agitated. The problem is to activate the proteins in it, you need to agitate it. I believe this to be aquafaba or the liquid from the can of chickpeas. Vegans use it, you can actually do it as a substitute for meringue because of the way that it functions as egg white. However, that's only when it's agitated because the proteins and the starches from mm. the chickpeas will actually hold their shape. Well, I'm mm. agitated. If I ordered French toast and you served me this, I would find the nearest building and I would go into it and I would scream about how sad I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take one more taste and then we need to, we need to, we have three offenses to solve, okay? Yeah. I'm get, telling get you, I swear, you're, there's gotta be a fleck in here that we can see. Oh, you're right. <laughs> there's Use gotta, the food big maker. That's where, there's gotta be a fleck of something, of a spice that they didn't mean to use. I'm seeing like some sort of brownish, blackish flecks, but what, what would people have that you could feasibly confuse the nutmeg? It would be a brown powder, right? Or like a red? Maybe like a cardamom? Possibly, but I don't think it would be, I cardamom think it's be something intense. more offensive than cardamom, but I'm not quite tasting it because they added just a shake, right? How often are you actually tasting yeah. the nutmeg in your French toast? Um, they couldn't have done like paprika. Because paprika's paprika. not very flavorful, but it is colorful. Mm. <laughs> don't, don't say that to a Hungarian. <laughs> Calm down, rookie. Yeah. What makes me upset as a justice finder is this, they rated it at two stars mm. and then had so much to say and they're like, it's my fault. They said it's their fault, but they, they gave this chef and their recipe two stars. Mm -hmm. I think it was a tortilla change mm. and I think it was applesauce used. Mm. And I think paprika was what was shaken. Shaking and on, shaking on. Detective, I am 100% positive. I will, I will bet money. I will lay down my gun and my badge and my food make bigger lens if this is not aquafaba from the can of chickpeas. How do you spell aquafaba? Well, I think you can just write chickpeas or garbanzo beans. But hey, do you know what the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo is? Same thing? Yep. <laughs> <gasps> Let's see the verdict. 
I had no brochi spelling or the other brand, so I substituted tortillas, which did not soak up the egg mixture. Mm -hmm. As I am a vegan, I couldn't use the eggs they recommended, but the aquafaba from a can of a garbanzo beans usually works just fine. Not here. It was so soggy and tasted like canned beans. Accidentally added a shake or two of cumin, cumin. Oh. before realizing it wasn't nutmeg. Oops. Mm. Overall, great recipe, mm. but just wasn't as good as I expected it to be. Because of you! Because you! Yeah. Okay. Wow, so you were right. You I'm were sad, right. I'm sad we missed cumin. Normally cumin has a very distinct smell to me, but again, it's just a shake. Um, cumin. 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 Mm -hmm. The, the missing culprit. ingredient. <laughs> to accidentally put cumin is to be human. Yeah. I couldn't fit it all in my mind. I'm sorry, line. I didn't even put you, I didn't even ask you for your guess. That's okay. Do you I... want to say what your guess was? No. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to write that. You want to write, come to write. in. Yeah, well, I also so write, I also wrote, I like having fun with my friends. While you were writing down your guesses, that's what I wrote. That's all good. right, cookie rookies. Shall we try the recipe as it was meant to be? Yeah. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. It's chief. I'm going to do yes, this. Yes, chief. chief. Yes, chief. Sorry. French toast. As it was meant to be. I love it. I love French mm. toast. Okay, French toast. Mm -hmm. mm. That egg. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty crunchy. Like With the raspberry. Tell you what. Mm. Hitting. Not oh. pertinent to the crime. Big ass blueberries. Love, love a big ass blueberry. Love a big ass bloob. That's so true. Love yeah. bloobs. It's time for us to discuss the punishment. I have a great punishment for them. Okay. They should have to read the head note in full out loud to yourself of every food blog recipe that they intend to make in the future. Ooh. Thousands of words. Many about life So many stories. personal experiences. So many life stories about grandmas and trees growing in backyards and you have to read all of them just to find out you don't even want to cook the recipe. I was gonna say they should have to use a butter knife for a week as their only knife. <laughs> Why? Good. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Good one. They'd be like, oh, it's so hard. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God, good. I think the suspect who is now guilty, deserves both of those. Yeah. On to the next case. Cover the next case, please. <laughs> Thank you, can you handle that? Absolutely. And remember, the theme is brunch. Brunch. The scene, crime. Yeah. Can you handle that? Oh, this is number three. Can you bring it back? <laughs> This case is a carne asada breakfast burrito. Actual recipe mm. includes beef skirt steak, carne asada seasoning, garlic powder, vegetable oil, sweet onion, red bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, canned diced tomatoes, frozen diced tomatoes, salt and pepper, butter, eggs, shredded Mexican cheese blend, and flour tortillas. The incident, our suspect on Halloween 2020 at 3 p.m. Oh. Five stars. I substituted blank for the steak, blank for the potatoes, and used some blank instead of jalapenos. It was awful, never again! One person found this helpful. Uh, still five stars. <laughs> still five stars. I, this mm. is to me a very, this is an empathetic person. I like the criminal minds, I like to get inside of their head. Okay, You know. I like to get inside the food. This suspect is on trial for three counts of culinary crimes. This recipe has one of my biggest pet peeves of any recipe. So they're starting off with skirt steak, which is perfectly fine to use for carne asada, and then they use carne asada seasoning. I have nothing against prepackaged seasonings. A lot of them do a really good job, but then they just add garlic powder, which is to say they have just made another carne asada seasoning. They have decided that the focused, tested, large corporation seasoning companies that have had scientists working for months and months on these products, they just added, now, a little bit of garlic powder is what this needs. There's already garlic powder in carne asada seasoning. Adding that is just completely superfluous. And to me, it shows that as a recipe writer, they already don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of other things in there, pre-shredded cheese. I know a lot of people use it. Um, that's not ideal. But then to me, also throwing just like red bell pepper in there is completely superfluous. Wow. Also, carne asada literally means like, you know, grilled meat. And I'm sure this is just thrown in a pan. And okay. so to me, I don't know. Hey, You're, so we're already on a bad start. This is a recipe for fajitas, right? Like fajita literally means skirt steak in Spanish because fajita means little belt and skirt steak is, you know, shaped like a belt and they're adding the bell pepper to it. This is a fajita burrito and that's fine, but I, I don't have enough brain sauna. space for this. Let's get the evidence. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. We've got mm -hmm. some guacamole on the sides. Still wow. looks like a burrito. Whoa, this looks, this greenery does not look okay. like a greenery that was hmm. mentioned. I'm seeing one very prominent ingredient Whoa. in here that is not typically <laughs> used in a breakfast burrito. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna reckon that that isn't skirt steak. It does happen to be an ingredient that I love and is actually really nice in breakfast burritos. So I'm actually, I'm really not mm. mad about it. So the meat, the meat is made from a product that many Americans think of as a meat substitute, but has actually been around in East mm. Asia for thousands upon thousands of years. Um, and it can be used in many, many different applications. Um, a lot of people tend to not add enough flavor to it because it's a fantastic base. It's a good vessel to carry that does not have a texture similar to meat. It's great. It's, it's not bad. It's, mm. it's, so like the five stars, mm. it's valid. Why would they so upset? Never again. Now, what the crap is substituted for the potatoes? The, the, do you see the greens? Are the greens mm. colored greens? Do you see that? It looks different. It looks like it's either a basil that was like old. Maybe, maybe that's in place of the jalapenos. Mm. Instead of jalapenos. Something uh, green. Is, so yeah, initially I was like, oh, is that spinach in there? But if you really like, I'm, 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 go, I'm going back to this. It's so much more helpful than I thought it would be. I was like, oh, this is fun. It's a little visual gag for the show. This is helpful. I'm trying to look at the structure here. Um, I don't think it's green kale. I feel like this is too thin for a collard. I feel like collards mm. have a thicker leaf that doesn't mm -hmm. get this translucent. Okay. I okay. will say, are you enjoying, I'm really enjoying this. I'm taking a second mm. bite because I, think I this need is to see a delightful how... food. I need to, mm. I need to know what the potatoes is. They said it was awful, <laughs> a... I need to know what the it's potatoes weird, right? is. What is the potatoes? There's a weird texture that it just squeaked in my mouth. There's a central, there's a central rib running through it, which both, I'm trying to decide if this is collard or kale. It could be something like a mustard green. I, I think this might actually be collards and maybe it's just a, That's what I'm thinking. Like like a, an early harvest collard. Oh, uh, you know what? The more I have it, the more I don't like it. And the chicken and the, everything's just getting weird. Collards in American in American cuisine are typically stewed for a long time, but you go to like Brazil, for instance, they are thinly chiffonaded and sauteed very quickly. That's how these are. Um, a Is this a nut? To it. Is this a nut? Wait, let me find it in mine, find it in mine. Stop. What is the potatoes? It's, it's, what is the potatoes? <laughs> what is the potatoes? What is the potatoes? Wait a sec, is this, is it sweet? It's, so this like, is, it's like, it's like they put in like corn nuts or something. Dude, and it's they not got a corn soggy. nut. I think, I, I feel like I think I know what it is, but no person in their right mind would do that. Beans? I, is it just a beans? Is no, this is a not beans? a beans, dude. This is like something, it's, it's really squishy and it's starchy. Don't film this. God dang it, it tastes like a breakfast cereal. Shut the front door. But it. <laughs> it's like really messed up and like. I think it might, it look, <laughs> looking like a corn nuts to me. It'd dude, be it looking like, no, like corn nuts Dude, or taste pops. it, it's sweet, pops. it's not I, corn nuts. I eat it, I eat it, and it tastes like corn pops. pops Wait, corn but pops? I, nobody would put corn pops in a burrito because the rest of this is a very earnest attempt at making like, a vegetarian. People make earnest attempts at Wait, murder, Josh. I guess they do, and, and, and you can generally see a logical through line. What do you got, Trevor? I don't know. <laughs> I think skirt steak was replaced with vegan chicken, like frozen chicken. And I think the jalapenos were replaced by collard greens. And I think Instead of potatoes, they put in some kind of bean because I swear to God, if it's Pops, the cereal, I'm gonna bang my head on this table. I feel very strongly that it is it is tofu. I think it's collard greens. And then I, I cannot get anything but corn pops out of my mind. Do you have any guesses before we bring out the, the verdict? Okay, I feel, I feel pretty confident. Tofu, collard greens. I just can't figure out what is potatoes. I've eaten it so many times. I ate all of mine. I ate all I of my ate potatoes. I ate all of mine too. It's like, Otherworldly croutons? It's time for the verdict. In the case of the carne asada breakfast burrito, I've substituted tofu for steak. Corn pops! Let's go! Front Corn door. Door pops. Potatoes! Yes! You're going down! Ah! And used some dandelion greens okay. instead of jalapenos. Wait, you went so pretentious with dandelion greens to don't, add corn yeah. pops? And don't, and yeah, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? No, what pops? the fuck? Don't say instead of jalapenos, as if they're in the same universe. 
because they're both greed. I can't help but be like the bleeding heart for these people though, because this person, they just wanted a burrito, right? They wanted to feed themselves. Did they? And, and like, but you, if you only have certain things to put, you don't need a recipe. You, you have a tortilla, a burrito is just things inside a tortilla. You couldn't figure out just, organically how to put good things inside of a tortilla. You had to go to a recipe and then go, well, jalapenos are green, dandelion greens are green, uh, potatoes are a thing that I've heard of, and corn pops are a cereal that I have in my fridge. Like, why couldn't you just put the best tasting things in your fridge inside of a tortilla and roll it up? Yeah, also you don't need to have, like you don't have to replace potatoes. You just don't have potatoes. Breakfast burritos are all different and all beautiful. This tasted good. Doesn't matter if it tastes good, it's still a crime. I didn't really care for it personally. It's not, the dandelion greens was a bad choice. It tastes like I was eating near a creek. Let's try the real thing. Justice is about to taste damn good because this is a real ass breakfast burrito. This looks really nice. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited yeah, about this. Yeah, no corn pops in sight. Mm, very, very nice. Mm. This makes me hate the last burrito so much more. Mm. Mm. What could have been, you know? I don't know how to say that. I preferred the first one. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, shut no, up. no, no, I'm not just being like. You shut up. I think steak is bad in a breakfast burrito. Because if you think about a carne asada burrito, all the things like a San Diego style carne asada burrito, all the things that should be added to it are heavily flavored Asians, right? Mm -hmm. So you have like guacamole, you have pico, you have a salsa, onion, cilantro, right? High impact ingredients because steak is a little bit blander. Blander than say a sausage or a bacon or a breakfast meat. So you add steak to potatoes, bland, eggs, bland, bell peppers aren't gonna cut it, and cheese. The other one at least, the tofu blends in with the eggs and makes it feel just like an egg breakfast burrito. I prefer the first one. Oh God. We might have to let him go. We need we need you on this one more case, okay? That feels nice. <laughs> Despite our disagreements on our morals, <laughs> your forensic psychology skills are much needed here today, okay? Well, get Armenian food around there, you know? I'm willing to hold it get together. Get some Horvats for Chief. On the break? For Chief Courtney, I'm willing to hold it together. Put aside our differences. This is for Courtney, this is for you. I hate. I hate this man so much and I can't work with him, but I respect the hell out of you, goddammit. You and me so both I'm staying partner. on the force. Oh my God, I'm in a movie right now. We need to come to an agreement on what their punishment will be. Hmm. I recuse myself from this case. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, I think some community service is in order. Yeah. And some, some sensitivity training about corn pops. Yeah. I think that the, the <laughs> remainder of their dandelion greens should be taken away from them. Yeah, give them, back to the, give them back to the freaking, I don't know, caterpillars? What do, who eats dandelion beans? I don't know. Not this person anymore. On to the last case. Trevor, the evidence, please. The crime scene. Hong Kong egg tarts. Oh. Mm. Sounds wonderful. The ingredients include all-purpose flour, salt, unsalted butter, cold water, granulated sugar, hot water, evaporated milk, eggs, and vanilla extract. I love vanilla extract. The suspect on August 7th, 2023 at 9.35 p.m. Hi, this didn't work. <sighs> Me and my husband are non-GMO gluten-free vegans and can, oh God. <laughs> it's, it's Ian and Anthony fused together. Me and my husband are non-GMO gluten-free vegans and cannot use blank, so I substituted this for blank blank and it just would not set. Okay. I followed all of the instructions, so I think it may be my oven, unfortunately, that cannot maintain temp, and in the end, it was really runny and tasted quite bitter. So I'm not sure what happened, but I won't be trying this again. I'm sorry, what a waste. This has 81 down votes. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a witness. Wow. Hi, an extreme substitution like using blank in place of blank for an egg custard tart is not always going to work. I'm sorry that it felt like a waste of time, but sometimes one just has to acknowledge that a blank isn't a blank, you know? Mm -hmm. 73 upvotes. Sounds like there was justice in the comments, but I don't know about justice on this recipe. This suspect is on trial for one count of culinary crimes. What is an egg tart typically? <laughs> so Hong Kong egg tarts, I believe are actually Portuguese in nature. Hong Kong is a nation where a lot of commerce mm -hmm. went through. And it's like um, a yellow bubble kind of looking. It's a yellow right? bubble and it's typically very simple. It is literally um, eggs and sugar and I believe some sort of other dairy that are just set. It tends to be very blistered. 
on the top inside of a pastry mm. crust. As far as substitutions for eggs, that is literally what is allowing it to set. It's right. the protein mm. in the egg. And so if they were an experienced person, we've seen this before, we have to use knowledge from other cases using something like aquafaba has protein, but I don't think they are very mm. experienced. What are your thoughts? Well, I've written them down here if you'd like to take a look. Oh, a little family in a plane. <laughs> Let's bring in the evidence. Oh, God dang it! <laughs> Somebody pooed in this tart shell. <laughs> I wanna. Oh, I hate what's happening. I'm here. actually a little scared. <laughs> so this looks like uh, quiche in like in sepia filter. <laughs> I I will say the the color. I don't think this is what it is, but the color does immediately remind me of like taro. It has this kind of grayish, almost purplish brown appearance to it. A lot of times taro, they'll add purple food dye to it. What is taro? It. Taro is an indigenous root to like Hawaii, like poi is made from taro, but it's also in a lot of other Pacific Islands. Um, it's a very starchy vegetable that when you pound gets really um, kind of sticky okay. and so could feasibly be used in a substitution like this. All right. I, really, I want to stick my finger in it. I really don't like it. You should just eat it. I would like to stick my finger in it. I, I really for don't. this case, <laughs> okay. uh, you can stick your finger in it after you eat it with us. I don't like it. We're gonna do like, this together. I don't want to do it. For justice, Trevor. Okay. For jump stems. Three, two, one. I couldn't tell if I was uh. <laughs> That's just nanners. No, 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 no. Yeah. Is that not bananas? There's a grain to it, though. What's the grain? Oh. I couldn't tell if my teeth was sinking into anything. Because it was really like really light and soft and alarming. It is um, <laughs> such an alarming texture that I don't think anybody could could feasibly think that it's good. I'm Tastes like, is like manners. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. I I don't smell anything. I'm smelling pure vanilla extract in there. You think this is bananas? Bananas would turn brown when baked like that. So you add bananas to. There is vanilla extract in the recipe. No, I know, that's what I'm saying. It, it, would, it would obfuscate the smell of bananas if the nanners, of course, was in there. I don't think that they would be obfuscated, there's a smell. Bro. There's a smell that's not nanners that isn't vanilla extract. Okay, so. <laughs> Do you taste any acid? Acid could be underripe bananas, but it could be one other thing. I taste nanners. Okay, like, so like, so like. Wha <laughs> and this is also grainy, and the coconut meat in yogurt would be grainy. The reason I don't think it's banana is because bananas wouldn't lend itself to any grain, right? What in here, whichever would cause that graininess? Children's go-go squeeze banana packet. <laughs> Gogur? It's like those little squeeze that has a little twist off cap and you squeeze them in your mouth. It's that, it's nano flavored. I just flavored. don't understand what this person's goal I was. Taste nanners. This I am guy... tasting, Co coconut and bananas, both tropical fruits, both have a high like uh, ethylene production. So they're gonna, so they're gonna like, smell, I taste very bacterial. Oh. <laughs> um, there's a, coconuts to me have this very unique and distinct, almost bacterial smell. A lot of people don't like mm. coconut water because it reminds them of something bodily. Mm. Like taste it, smell it. I'm not getting banana from this. So you think it's bananas? I do. And you think it's coconut? I think it's vegan coconut yogurt. Vegan coconut yogurt. I am also going with banana. Let's get the verdict. The verdict is as stated. <sighs> Me and my husband are non-GMO gluten-free vegans who cannot use egg. So I substituted this for mashed banana. Mm. And it just would not set. Ah! Right. You cracked the case. Don't question me on when I'm tasting nanners, okay? <laughs> I've been eating nanners since before you were born. All right, I've been sucking down nanners. And when I taste nanners, I know it's nanners. Let's try the real thing. Here we have it. Hong Kong egg tarts, as they were meant to be. Mm. As they were designed to be. Let's try it. This looks lovely. This does, looks really nice. Looking forward to this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. It's custard. It tastes like, I could actually. <laughs> I like to tongue out the custard before and not eat all the crust. <laughs> I think we have a criminal at large on our set. Yeah, and he signs my paychecks. The custard is nice and dense, and it's yellow, and has color, and it's happy, and giving brunch. 
That is so disappointing that they dare try to substitute the most important ingredient. Again, what do we think the suspect would get if they were deemed guilty? You know what they should have to do? They should have to meet these scientists from the University of Hawaii that saved all of Hawaii's papaya crops from a blight that could not have been voided, if not for the heroic acts of genetically modified organisms in agriculture. They are not bad by themselves whatsoever, is what companies have done with them. So, so like, you have to you... talk to them. So are you talking about bananas right now? What, what are we talking about? I forgot where we are, I don't feel so good. Yeah, that because that recipe was wrong. Okay. I think for punishment, they should have to listen to you talk for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sentence. For this suspect, they are required to listen to seven hours of hot dog as a sandwich. <laughs> oh, who gives a shit? I'm like, I agree. I <laughs> they make me do this. I don't know. Cadets, Trevor, Josh, thank you for assisting me in these cases today. I couldn't have done it without you, truly. Did this sway you at all in how you're going to operate around recipes from now on? No, I'm not a moron. <gasps> yeah, no, I'm not like a moron who like does stupid stuff. No, it's like substitutions can be made in recipes, but you have to know what you're doing. Bananas is not eggs. I'm All right, you stupid. heard it here. Chef Josh loves subs. Where can our lovely viewers find you? You can find me at a Chinese restaurant because I'm Jewish and this is the day after Christmas and I like to stay overnight there. <laughs> uh, also over at Mythical Kitchen and a podcast, a hot dog with a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Also, if you want to pre-order our new cookbook, it's good. Thank you. Follow me on Twitter, I'll be around. Thanks again, rookies. I don't think you're rookies anymore. I think I'd say you're privates, and you're my favorite privates. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. What if someone replaced the ingredients of a few food? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. Oh, stop. Is anyone getting arrested? Not that I know of. One time I thought I was getting arrested, but then but then the dude just he started like he put on a boombox and he started dancing real sexy. <laughs> <laughs>